incredible feat in all of the team. Gina backhands from the outfield. And within a year and a half, I think he's been the big leagues in the five. Derek Jeter with his first big league assist. Place hit in the back of the arm of the ball. Back in the Yankee dugout. Derek Jeter is his first big league hit. And I can't wait to the decision to, to go with Derek. And when it was lights, camera, action in Cleveland, he hatched right out of that egg and dominated and held this one day one. And that's been that way ever since. Shortstop to another, he just seemed like he had eyes and back was that he seemed to have this extra sense about what was going on. It's not about him, it's about his team and the championships. Throughout his career, and the time that I played with him, he's always been one of the best plus hitters that I've known. And anytime there's a, a big hit that's needed, he's up to bat. It always seemed like he came through. And Gina swings as a high drive to left. And it's high. And it's far. And it's gone. First pitch over for David Gina. First battle of all three, maybe the guy that helped him so much from his organization to this year in New York. A guy that has won many championships. He came up back in the mid-90s, the game has grown so much. And Derek was uh, a big reason for that. The man is a, a great role model for a lot of kids. Derek, oftentimes uh, carrying out conversations with the fans, especially the young kids. Yeah. Just to see how he just represented himself in the major baseball is just what you want out of the ball player. But Derek Jeter has a role in this game that only Derek Jeter can do. Derek Jeter a lot with his baseball. Stops to play, and probably the most clutch player in the playoffs. He's an iconic player. figure. He even uh, transcends baseball. We could almost say, what does he mean to America? And Derek Jeter has become the symbol of the extraordinarily successful athlete, extremely hardworking, but the guy who did the right thing. The guy went out from day one of the year, handled himself in class, played like a professional, like a veteran for 20 years, and uh, year in, year out, he's just so consistent, so productive, and just such a great leader. What a winner, what a classic guy, really from day one. And then he put on a uniform and got in the starting lineup. The Yankee dynasty started. 20 years later, here we are at the end. You can't say enough about what he's accomplished, but more importantly, how he's handled himself all the way around. The best player I ever had. And, and, and 
through the reason being is he wanted to be that guy who didn't, didn't want anybody telling him the night's going. He was just very special in that regard. He never deviated from that road from 1996 to the present day. Yankee fans have been pretty special. Uh, you know, the reason why we play, uh, the reason why we've been able to get through all of our games, and we have the greatest fans in the world supporting us each and every night. They, they've been supportive of me, they've been respectful of me since I was 20 years old. And I've grown up with them. They've seen me grow up with a lot of the fans I've grown up with. So this is why we do our job. This is we do our job to, to make, you know, obviously to win, but we, we also want to entertain and make the fans happy. So hopefully they've been able to do that throughout the years, but, but they uh, are second to that.